Hello friends, welcome to Mahesh Maths classes. Today we discuss about the chapter linear equations in two variables. By the end of this chapter, you will be knowing what is the pair of linear equation in two variable and how to solve them by using different methods like graphical method and algebraic methods like substitution method, elimination method and cross multiplication method. You will be getting the knowledge of different systems of linear equations like consistent, inconsistent and dependent. Before knowing what is a linear equation, let's know what is a variable. What is a variable? Variable means which varies, which changes like x, y, z, alphabets like this, they don't have a specific value, they don't have a fixed value. That's why they are called as variables. Constants. The constants are which have a fixed value. Like you take a number, you take minus 2, or 3 by 4, 22 by 7, root 3, 1.27. All these are called as constants. They never changes, they never varies. What is a term? Term means a constant, a variable. The product of constants and variables and product of variables. All these are called as term. And you know what is variable and constant. And when it comes to product of constants and variables, you take a number 3 and multiply it with some variable x, 3x. Then it is called a term. Then 2x, y, z. This is also a term. Or you can take minus 2 x square y square z this is also called as a term and product of variables you multiply x and x x square and x square y z this is also a term so all these together are called as terms and when you add or when you subtract terms then comes an expression the combination of terms is called as an expression. Combination is nothing but addition or subtraction. Like you take x plus y. This is addition of two terms. Therefore, it is an expression. Or you can take x square minus 2xy plus y square. This is also an expression which consists of three terms here. Then comes the equation. Equation is the simple thing. The expression with equal symbol is called an equation. So you took an example just now that is x plus y plus z. Suppose if it is equal to some value, let us take as 3. x plus y plus z is equal to 3 is called an equation. Or you can take it here x plus x plus 3 is equal to 9. This is also an equation. Just if you have an equal symbol, then it is called an equation. Then what is a linear equation? Linear equation is an equation whose degree is 1. For example, you take x plus 5 is equal to 10. What is its degree here? Here it is 1. And you take one more example, y minus 2 equal to 1. What is its degree here? Degree of y is 1. Degree of p in this is also 1. So all these are called linear equations. When it comes to x square minus 2 is equal to 2, what is its degree here? The degree is 2. Means it is not a linear equation. And if you observe all these linear equations, they are consisting only one variable. Here only x, here only y, and here only p. So these are called linear equations in one variable because they are having only one variable in the equation. So if we have two variables in the equation, then they are called linear equations in two variables. So for example, x plus y is equal to 10. So clearly the degree of these two terms is 1, therefore it is a linear equation. But we have two variables here, x and y. Therefore it is called 
a linear equation in two variables. In the same way, you can take p minus q is equal to some nine. So this is also a linear equation in two variables in p and q. 3x plus 5y equal to 24. Here also we have two variables, x and y. So these are the linear equations in two variables. So let us take the formal definition of linear equation. What is the linear equation? The equation which is in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is called a linear equation where a square plus b square is not equal to 0. What does it mean? What does it mean a square plus b square is not equal to 0? Means if a square plus b square is equal to 0, then a and b both should be equal to 0. When both becomes 0, then only c will be remaining here and it will not become an equation here because c is some constant. Suppose let us take phi. Phi is equal to 0, so it is not correct. So therefore, a square plus b square is not equal to 0 means a and b should not be equal to 0 at the same time. Means at least one of a and b should be a non-zero quantity. Okay, so when you know about the linear equation, then we talk about the system of linear equations. What is the system of linear equations? System is nothing but when you are having two or more equations together, then it is called a system of linear equations. Or here in this particular chapter, we are going to discuss about only the two linear equations. That means it is a pair, pair of linear equations. So pair means two. So we focus only on the two equations at a time in this chapter. And when you have equations, then you should have a solution. So what is the solution? Suppose you have an equation like this, x plus five equal to nine. What is x value? So you can easily say that x is equal to four. Then this x is equal to four, when you substitute in this equation, it will satisfy nine is equal to nine. Then this particular four is called the solution of the equation x plus 5 is equal to 9 means a value for which it satisfies the given equation is called the solution of the given equation. Or if you have two equations then, the solution of system of linear equations, suppose you have, then it should satisfy both the equations. Then only it is called as the solution of the system. So suppose here you have equation like x plus 5 is equal to 9. Here we have one equation and only one variable. So here one equation is enough to find the value of x. Suppose you have x plus y is equal to 9. Now here you have one equation but two variables. Can you guess what is x and y values? Yes, 4 plus 5. But you can also say that it is 3 plus 6. Or you can also call it as 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So all these values satisfy this equation. But there is no particular solution when you have only one equation in two variables. So to get the exact solution, you should have two equations. Suppose x plus y is equal to 9, x minus y is equal to 3. Then you can say that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to Three. This is the only solution which satisfy both the equation. So that is called the solution of the system of linear equations or you can say the solution of the pair of linear equations. So when you are two unknowns, you should have two linear equations. If you have three unknowns, then you should have three linear equations. So let us know more about the solution. Now you see, determine whether the given point is a solution of the given system of equation or not. Now here, what is the point they have given? Minus 3 comma 1. And what are the equations? See, x minus y is equal to minus 4. 2x plus 10y is equal to 4. What is the first equation? x minus y is equal to minus 4. Let us substitute x and y values here. 
when an order pair is given then it means that it is x comma y so x is minus 3 substitute here minus y is 1 is equal to minus 4 so minus 4 is equal to minus 4 so it is satisfying the first equation so it is true for the first equation let us take the second equation what is the second equation 2x plus 10y is equal to 4 let us substitute x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to 1 is equal to 4 so minus 6 plus 10 is equal to 4 that implies 4 is equal to 4 so it is also true so this point minus 3 comma 1 is satisfying both the equations therefore it is the solution of the given system of equations given pair of equations let's have one more example here also they have given another point and another system so let us take the first equation that is 2x minus 5y is equal to minus 2 that is let us substitute x and y values in this what is x value 4 and what is y value it is 2 is equal to minus 2 so 2 for 8 minus 10 is equal to minus 2 which is true is equal to minus 2 means which is true let us take the second equation now 3x plus 4y is equal to 4 and what is x here 4 and what is y it is 2 So three fours is a twelve plus four to the eight equal to four. That is twenty equal to four. So it is wrong. It is false. So this point four comma two is satisfying only one equation. It is not satisfying the second equation. Therefore, it is not the solution because it is satisfying only one equation. So it is solution for this first equation. but not second means it is not the solution for the system of equations okay so to become a solution it should satisfy both the equation okay it is nice we learned what is a solution and what are the system of linear equations and all these we have learned but where it is useful in our life so let us take a scenario here now cost of four notebooks and three pens is equal to 110 rupees and cost of three notebooks and two pens is equal to 80 rupees in this case i am assuming the four notebooks like this and three pens like this so let us say that the cost of one notebook is x and cost of three one pen is y now the cost of four notebooks and three pens that is 4x plus 3y is equal to 110 so we got a linear equation here now next cost of three notebooks and two pens so three notebooks is x x x as plus 2y is equal to 80 now to find out what is the cost of one notebook and what is the cost of one pen we need to solve these two equations this pair of linear equations so like this we have many uses with the linear equations okay now we have to solve these equations how to solve them we know how to check whether the given point is a solution of the system of equations or not but we don't know how to find the solution but trial and error method we can guess but for all the equations it is not possible therefore let us learn how to solve the system of linear equations we have different methods to solve the linear equations like graphical method substitution method elimination method and also one formula method that is also called as cross multiplication method so this is graphical method these two are called substitution method and elimination method and cross multiplication method all these three methods last three methods are called algebraic methods first one is 
graphical method. So that's all for today. Uh, we'll be learning what is graphical method, substitution method, and all the other methods in our next classes. Thank you for watching.